78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den Boxing Community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. So, Devin the Dream Haney, aka Black Jesus, has responded to Shakur Stevenson's call out. Many people uh, have been on Devin saying that Devin hasn't been keeping the same energy with Shakur that he keeps for everybody else, which is hilarious to me. Um, but anyway, Devin Haney responds. He says that Shakur did what he was supposed to do, which was call out the best. You know what I'm saying? He also responded to the the, the, the sparring, and uh, Devin said that, you know, uh, he and Shakur were both teenagers when that happened. A lot, of, a lot has changed since then, and that was a back and forth fight, okay? Uh, Devin Haney, this is the part that nobody wants to talk about, and I'm going to keep saying this in every video until um, these newfound Shakur Stevenson fans stop pretending like they don't know this. Uh, Bill Haney uh, and Devin Haney um, had a three-fight deal with Top Rank. Two fights with George Cambosis, and the third fight uh, with that option being Vasil Lomachenko, but it was an option. He didn't have to fight Lomachenko, but that was an option, which is why he was trying to fight uh, Javante Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia, he was looking for those guys. Those guys didn't want to fight them. They wanted to pretend like Devin Haney was locked into uh, uh, deals to fight these guys for sure when he didn't have to. All right. So Bill Haney asked Bob Arum. He said um, for a fourth option, a fourth fight. He said, hey, you know, we, you know, what's up with Shakur? You want to give us Shakur? Bob Arum said no. He said no. He, he, he didn't offer them a fourth fight. So why is, is everybody still... Uh, talking about this Shakur Stevenson versus Devin Haney and Devin needs to fight Shakur next, blah, blah, blah. Trying to escape the, uh, you know, trying to save Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia, basically. And, and, and you know, it's funny because people will say, oh, well, uh, that's the easiest fight to make. They're on the same side of the street. They're on the same side of the street. They were the same promoter. That's the easiest fight to make. Devin Haney's a free agent after he fights Lomachenko. D don't you understand? He asked for an extension. They said no. They said no. So they're not on the same, they're not gonna be on the same uh, 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 promotional company. But even with that being said, let's assume that they are on the same uh, promotional company. If, if it's easy for Devin and Shakur to fight, and, and Devin needs to stop worrying about Tank because he's on the other side of the street, then why don't, you, why don't you guys have the same smoke for Shakur who just said that he, tank, him fighting Tank is a bigger fight for him than him fighting Devin Haney. Shakur is already putting it out there that he would love to fight Tank Davis. And y'all don't have the same smoke for Shakur. You acting like that's a possibility. Oh, Shakur has a right to weigh his options. Shakur has a right. What? Well, so does Devin Haney. What are you talking about? Devin Haney's the undisputed champion, bro. This is getting ridiculous out here now. This is absolutely getting ridiculous, bro. Once again, like I said, I want to see the best fight the best, man. I'm all for uh, Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney fighting one day. I'm all for uh, Devin Haney uh, fighting Javante uh, Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia winner. I'm all for that. Okay? I want to see all these guys fight. But Shakur just got the lightweight, bro. Stop playing games. Stop trying to get Shakur to skip in line. You know what I'm saying? Just stop doing it, bro. Shakur just got here. He was just at 130. He just moved up and fought Yoish. Fought some guy named Yoish. All right? Let Devin Haney handle his business. If Javante Tank Davis don't want to fight, and if Devin Haney is still comfortable at 135, cool, let's see Shakur. But if he's not comfortable at 135 and Top Rank don't want to give him another option, then he should just move up. And, and plus, Bob Arum did an interview with Blue Blood. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Bob Arum did an interview with Blue Blood. Bob Arum clearly said, when they asked him, when Blue asked him about uh, Devin versus Shakur next, Bob Arum said, uh, we got, that's not realistic. That's not realistic. He said Devin Haney is, is uh, going to be moving up. He said he want, he want Devin Haney to move up to 140 and fight the winner of Teofimo Lopez versus Josh Taylor. That's what Bob Arum, top rank promoter, the promoter of Shakur Stevenson said, bro. I don't know why we playing this game. But you're still going to get people come to the comment section underneath this video and act like they didn't hear it. Oh, no, still, Devin got the same energy. I don't know. Man, this is ridiculous, bro. I'm not even going to play into this no more because I think this is just a game. This is just like some trolling people doing now. Uh, just to, I don't know what they're doing, bro. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy my day. 78 Sports TV. 
Salute to the mighty ODBC. Y'all smash the like button, share the video, and I'm out of here, deuces.